everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Gravesite, and in today's video, we are going to be exposing, in my personal opinion and personal experience, one of the most overpowered glitches in Grand Theft Auto Online. So, this is a glitch that was discovered way back in 2014 and is still working today because Rockstar cannot patch it whatsoever even though they've made some changes and we could talk about those but the glitch that I'm talking about here if you do not know it's called the replay heist glitch this glitch allows you to replay any heist in the game without having to go back and do any prep or any setup now once again this could be done for any heist in the game number one we got the apartment heists and there's five little heists within that main heist there even though a lot of times people were doing it with the pacific standard heist although that did require you to have four people and only three of those people would be making around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars if it was split up you know equally and all that but other than that all five of those you can do and then the next heist that came into the game was the facility heist so we have act one act two and act three this heist glitch which is replaying any of the heists in the game without having to do the preps or setups can be done with any one of those facility heists even though the most popular one of course is going to be act two the bogdan heist which i'll talk about that more towards the end of the video and then next that came out after that is the casino heist which the same glitch can be done with the casino heist where we can skip all the preps and all the setups and also there's going to be three approaches that you can do and you can do it with every single approach which is i believe there's an aggressive there's a big con and then there's the silent and sneaky way each one of those you can be doing the replay glitch with and then last but not least the last heist that was ever put into the game oh so long ago way back in 2020 is the Kaigo Perico heist which if you're on PC you're actually able to do the glitch completely solo although other than that if you're on console these glitches do require us to have a friend and or being the host not making any of the money and then the player themselves the one that's going to be making all the money they're the ones that are going to stay in the game and this is a super easy glitch because all this glitch requires a player to do is at the end of a heist at a certain point depending on what heist you're doing all you're going to need to do at that time is restart your application or unplug your internet making sure that when you do load back into the game you restart your catch because something recently back in like i would say a year ago i think that was implemented into the game especially for kyle perico something that i noticed with a lot of friends is after we ran three back-to-back -back heists Rockstar would just automatically come through and reset the heist because they have systems set in place like AIs that are trying to notice to like how many times are you running a heist back to back and they're trying to catch cheaters and other things like that. So once again, I believe that one of the methods that you can use is just restarting your catch. And if you don't know how to do that, we'll have those instructions linked down in the descriptions below on how to do that exactly. So you don't have to keep going back if you have a really awesome setup, you know, or go back and have to do any of the preps or the setups for any one of the heists, which by the way, once again, right now, it's going to be Bogdan. Bogdan is the most higher pain one, depending on what you have over in Kyle perico but i would just say bogdan is one of the more easier ones because it only takes about 10 minutes to do the whole heist itself go into the submarine have a person waiting out with a with a sea shark to pick you up and then flying to the airport and then from there restarting your application coming back into the game and then just starting it back up for your friend that's going to be netting them over 1.5 million dollars and we will have a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to run that linked down in the descriptions below so yes what i'm exposing here just happens to be one of the most overpowered glitches in grand theft auto online why this isn't an outfit glitch it's not a merge glitch it's not a launch glitch it's a money glitch that we can use to make it to where we don't have to buy shark cards which actually in a sense would hurt the company you would think but look i already bought my playstation i already pay internet and then now you want me to pay extra money each month for PlayStation itself. And then on top of that, 
people want me to buy either modded accounts and or Rockstar themselves want me to buy shark cards. When does the spending end? The spending has ended 10 years ago when this glitch came out and I have never bought a shark card in the game. Why? Because they have this money glitch that's always been into the game and has never been patched. Not to this day. They've done a couple changes. But beyond that, it's still working and you are still able to make millions upon millions of dollars every single day by doing this glitch in Grand Theft Auto 5, which allows you, once again, just to go ahead and skip those preps and setups and get right to those heist missions, which are the highest paying thing in Grand Theft Auto, I would say, besides from selling CEO special crates when they're like double cash and double RP. Other than that, I would say heists are one of the best ways ways of making money in the game especially if you are a low level player and or just an existing player that needs money and doesn't have a thick wallet in real life just to go out and spend a couple hundred dollars on shark cards and or going out and spending a lot of money on modded accounts which you could just easily make millions of dollars for yourself and a friend every single day here in Grand Theft Auto for the last 10 years by doing replay glitches, which once again, we will have that Bogdan link down in the descriptions below. So make sure you go down there and check that video out as well. If you know the replay glitch and you've been doing it, how much money do you think that you've gotten off doing the replay glitches and running heists here in Grand Theft Auto 5? A game that's been around for almost 11 years at this time. We're at like the 10 and a half mark at the recording time of this video, which is something that I wanted to talk about, is the fact that this glitch is still working in Grand Theft Auto 5. I've never bought a shark card because the main reason that we're able to just replay glitches and get millions of dollars every single day, there's no reason for me to do that. Once again, not for when I've already gone out and I've paid for my electricity, I paid for my PlayStation, I'm paying for PlayStation Plus, and I also, I paid for the game so at some point, the spending has to stop because every single like corner of life wants us to spend money. So this is a way to cut those shark cards, to cut those modded accounts in half and uh, not have to do that and waste a lot of our hard earned money to where we could actually go out and spend it on, you know, useful stuff like maybe a new pair of shoes or, or something like that, you know, some some walking shoes. <laughs> So anyways, from there, if you guys, uh, you don't have to let me know. How much money did you actually end up making off doing replay glitches, if at all? Maybe doing just, you know, heist in general in Grand Theft Auto? Because personally, myself, I've probably made a good $500 million in the game. Which by now, just on this account, I've made a couple billion dollars off doing not just car duplications, which car duplications can get you into trouble, but doing these replay glitches, which have been lasting for the last 10 years, is absolutely, in my opinion, Opinion, bonkers that the glitch is still working and the fact that it gets you money so you don't have to buy shark cards is overpowered and it somehow potentially you think would hurt the company but also once again I bought the game and I bought it more than once because it is Grand Theft Auto 5 and they've repackaged and resold this game a numerous amount of times which is something we're probably going to be looking forward to in Grand Theft Auto 6 when Grand Theft Auto 6 continues on for the next 15 years and we're looking at that game continuing on of just multiple consoles probably from playstation 5 to playstation 6 so on with the xbox and pc versions but from there once again if you guys enjoyed the video and it was helpful in any way make sure you hit that like button on the way out subscribe to the channel of course if you are new here once again thank you all for watching and supporting the channel my name is gravesite and i'll see you in the next one so peace